another video. Uh, today, I'm here live and direct, ready to talk to you guys. Got a lot of things I want to talk about. Um, however long I can. <laughs> um, but I want to say thank you guys who have subscribed to my channel. I'm almost at 900 subscribers. Though, I think I should be more, but more than that by now. And also, uh, link will be bottom of this video. Check out a new video I did with a, a YouTuber named Richard from Travel Log, a uh, Triad Travel Logs. I uh, recently went to Shanghai, did a podcast, and it was amazing. Had a great time. Hope we can collab again. So check it out. Subscribe to his channel, and I probably will. I have a video I did with him where we explored some uh, abandoned industrial park, but I haven't gotten around to edit it yet. Been so busy, what not. So I will probably put that out soon before I do a major switch. Soon before I do a major switch in my channel. Now you're probably wondering. Like the description on my video and saying, well, what is this reviewing a camera? Like what's going on here? Well, I recently have been getting a lot of feedback from a lot of YouTubers out there. And the main thing they're really interested of me doing is focusing more on my art, focusing more about my, I guess my art, my photography, things that I'm supposedly good at. <laughs> And really just lay back a little bit less on just my aspect on what I'm doing in China. Which, I mean, I know everyone is very intrigued and curious about my life in China so far and what I'm doing. Um, but I think personally, I want to do more art-based content on this channel. More photography, more projects that I'm doing as an artist. And so... I went to a concert a couple weeks ago and there was this girl who had a film camera. And I always loved doing film photography. I always love taking photos. If you look at my Instagram, Rado the Artist, I do a lot of photography, a lot of photos, a lot of things like that. And so I decided that I want to do more of that kind of content on this channel. Though I will still be doing a little bit of vlogging about what I'm doing, where I live in China and things I'm doing in China. But I want to center it more based on my art and how my art is affected by how I'm living in China. I did post some speed painting videos, things like that. I was trying to test out a little bit to see what people think. Not many feedback from that. But I want to get more in depth. I think painting is a little bit more tedious. While photography is more easier. Well, not easier unless you want to get to develop it and things like that. And so, for the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to find and buy cameras uh, that are either popular or well unknown or just trying to get my feet wet back into film photography. Um, and so, the main purpose of it is I want to do a project where each camera I buy, I want to do a story on that particular camera, whether it be a Canon I buy or Olympus or whatever you might want to call it. Um, not only I want to do film photography or photography based content, I also want to do art based content and music based, still surrounding around where I live, which is in China. But I feel like this particular content, why me doing art, my doing music, by doing photography and keep a consistent basis, I feel like I won't be so pigeonholed unless one thing gets like very big and then I can continue to do it. I know a lot of people are like, well, cool, I'm not really interested in that. But I think if I can play it off nicely and still trying to work out the kinks as a YouTuber, I think I can. So now, let's get back to the basis of what I'm doing this video for. I recently bought this camera, which is the Olympus CAF, which is the continuous autofocus. Um, I bought this camera recently. I bought this camera recently on Taobao, which is the Chinese the Chinese eBay, if you think. And I also bought 
some film as well. I also bought some uh, like actual movie film. I don't know if I can pull it up here. I bought some of this, which I know that I definitely will have to. It's a lot different. I have to develop this in a different way, unlike these two, which I know for a fact that will be quite challenging. But I hear it's quite fun. Um, and so this camera, this is not the camera I originally wanted. I actually wanted a Miami uh, AF 135 AF. But they hit the front. Apparently, what happened was that the guy sold that camera to his friend. And like when I bought it, it's his the camera was still in stock, but it wasn't. I was quite angry about that. So I got this one. And so basically, what I want to do this is just a it's not even a review, actually, it is kind of a review, but um, just, just a, sh a sh quick one two checker, one two checker review showing you the camera. Um, so like here, as you can see, you got your, of course, this would be more professional later on. You got your, I guess you can say your, a shutter here. You know, you got your shutter. You also got this red button that shows like the focusing. I tried to find online about this camera, but like, I guess it's rare or like it's only made for Japan. I don't know, but I don't know much information later on. I will. Um, but this particular camera, I don't see much of it around. It's only Asian market, I guess. You get your shutter, you got your winder for the film. You know, so when you take this photo, and you take the photo, you just, well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. But <laughs> it goes back. Um, and you also, this camera basically is a 38 millimeter, uh, 2.8 eight lens um this is continuous out of focus i think maybe because like it i think if i remember exactly this camera will continue to focus on an object whether it's moving or not could be wrong but my next video will be a lot much better as i'm doing an actual thorough review on it and then here in the back of this camera this is where you will this is where you oh, this is where you pop the film Oh dear, I'm really bad at this. Oh no, I just did this earlier. Uh, where you pop the film, or <laughs> fail, Johnny. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's pop it out. Maybe because I'm just doing it with one hand and I'm trying to hold this iPad, and I'm doing this live streaming. And you just, oops, <laughs> I'm not good at this, guys. Anyway, yeah, this is where the. Oh, it's this way. Sorry. And then this is where the film goes in. Um, and then that's where your film goes, and you just put it there, and then you tie it all the way back, blah, 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 so, so. And it flashes here, which is bright as heck. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to do a full in-depth review. It, this is just kind of a, like a, this is what I'm doing. And what I'm trying to achieve uh, on this what uh, on this uh channel here so that's what i'm trying to do i know f it was pretty much a mess trying to explain all that but i really i used to i did film photography four years ago and i stopped doing it because i came to china and wasn't able to like i wasn't i didn't even know that film was still kind of popular in asia so i decided to get back into it because it's something I, I like taking photos and I'm you know for me yes I like digital photography but I feel like for me to master the craft of photography I think film is oh, excuse me it's the perfect way for me to get better and also sometimes like I can't paint all the time and I can't just pull out a canvas and really work I rather just take my photos and do fun things with it also, I want to, I'm actually trying to I'm slowly making a book out of my poetry and things that I'm writing. So I really want to have some photos to go along with what I'm saying and what I'm writing about and things like that. Um, and so I feel like I feel like this camera and many other cameras. I bought an Olympus third trip 35, which should be coming soon. I will be doing a review of that. 
And so this camera, I, for some reason, I think this camera is only Japan only. I've never seen this camera, like, no one ever talks about it. I've never seen an actual, like, video on it. So I will be doing a much more in-depth review and a photo walk and see how the photos come out. And I want to see if, how that will work. For me, I know that a lot of people want to see my vlogs. But for me as an artist, I feel like I'm shortchanging myself if I'm constantly just doing vlogging, rather than not talking about art and art-based content. My name is Radio The Artist. Why are you not showing any art? And I feel like I'm, I don't feel satisfied just doing vlogs because I feel like as though that there's a lot more I want to say and I feel like people are more interested in my talent and more interested in my art. And I understand they know that I live in China and I'm doing a lot of stuff in China. But I think for me, I want to just have fun and I want to show people more of my art, show people more of my talent and what I can do despite living in China. And I feel like as an artist doing that type of thing, I feel like as though that like I don't keep myself in a box where I just need to do like art, like topics, like China based topics. I want to just have fun. I want to shoot videos. I want to shoot photography. I want to do paintings. I have a lot of ideas coming out soon that I want to experiment and do with my painting. Um, and I have a few people who I'm trying to collaborate with as well uh, that will help me achieve what I want to achieve with that. Um, so yes, tell me guys what you think. Do you want me to do some photography videos? I try, I'm try. i not going to try to do more of like, like Jared, Fronos, those type of videos because I'm not that like... I'm not like technical guy. I'm more of an enthusiast and I'm more of, of a creator-esque artsy kind of person. So I'm not gonna be like, hey, let's review the new AR7 300. I'm just gonna just find old cameras, have fun with it, shoot, show my creative process, how I think, my eye, what I think, how I feel, and like create some sort of story and some sort of uh, tell behind each camera. I think, the most important thing when it comes to photography is a story. Something that has meaning behind something. A lot of times I think that is missed when it comes to photography. Uh, maybe I pick a photo and like talk about what I think about it and like how I feel and like what it means to me in each photo. And also collaborate with other photographers and artists in my channel, like with musicians, photographers, painters, things like that. And so this is pretty much the beginning the beginning of a new thing for my channel and just be consistent have my photography have my art and my music and just keep doing that i know that it'd be I'm, i will try to do some vlogging here and there but i think personally i want to do more what i like which is art like when i like is painting i know some people might disagree with that and some people might know i don't want that we want just vlogging we just want you out there and just but i mean i can I could be a C Milk, I could be a Winston, I can be I can be a Peter McKinnon if I wanted to, but I'm just Radio the Artist. I'm myself. And I need to create my own lane, I need to create my own way. And in order to do that, to do what I like and do what I love the most is being an artist. So why not? I think everything else that's happening in my life will be just like that. So I will start my first video, my real official video with this camera, I will do an actual more in-depth review and like how I feel about it and some of the photos I'll be taking and having a good time with it. It's been a while since I've done film photography, so maybe my first time will not be so great. But I think that's part of the process about being creative. Sometimes the first time you do it won't necessarily be great. But um, yes, this Olympus. Olympus makes really good cameras. I will, you know, and I found a bunch that I already have bought <laughs> and some that I'm going to buy later and do reviews of. But I want to start with this because this one's a bit weird and odd. I've never seen this. I know a lot of other Olympus cameras are pretty popular, but I just want to start with an obscure one. And then kind of just work my way to other things and have fun. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um... If you guys want to see more, if you want to see this kind of content, let me know. Tell me guys what you think. Um, I think I think I feel much better doing this. 
I know that subscribers probably are not going to like feel it, but if you guys support me already, if you guys are just in it 100% and like, all right, like your work, don't worry about it. Let me know. And then try to convince other people to get on board and subscribe to my channel. You know, maybe maybe I could top Jerry Fronos and these Peter McKinnons. I'm sure who's the best photographer. Nah, I'm just joking. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate the support. If you have any questions, comments, or likes and dislikes, whatever, let me know. Follow me on Instagram at Radio The Artist. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Radio The Artist. Email me, gmail.com, Radio The Artist. I don't know, just find me anywhere. And I will catch you guys. Man, what's this? On the next one. Ooh, I heard a. What's this? Is it? Whoa, look at that. That's kind of cool. But I can't be doing that. I waste my battery. Actually, I don't like. I'm not a flash kind of guy. I hate flash. It's just too in your face and too bright. But I really like this. I really like this. So far, I don't know how well it shoots and how good it's going to look. We'll find out. Actually, story. I did bought an Olympus Trip 35. I said earlier. And I... Now, the problem I've been having is that... Uh, the problem with buying old things online is that sometimes the seller is not necessarily honest. So I bought a Trip 35. Olympus Trip 35, which is like everywhere on YouTube. Type Olympus Trip 35. You find a million reviews. I want to do mine a little different. Plus, I'm in China, which is rare. I don't think any like film photographer is in Asia, in China specifically. So I think I got something special going here already. And I bought it, and the camera was like, oh, yeah, it works. But the aperture blade was stuck, which is common in those cameras. And so I, I could have fixed it, but then the meter didn't work. So I took it back, and and then I tried to buy the Mi the Maya Mia 135 AF, and the guy sold it. And then I tried to buy another site, and it's out of stock, and they're gonna have it shipped. And like I tried to buy another camera, the guy said, "Well, I can't give you this because it's just been like a pain in the butt trying to find cameras <laughs> online. It's like almost like rolling the dice, and like okay, I can't get that. But I think that's." I think it's a sign that like this project has been kind of um, pretty rocky at start, you know. My, you know, I just want to just get one camera, do a lot of film with it, especially this one, uh, and do a story behind each camera and things that I'm seeing, and pick specific topics on each camera, and go with that. Um, so yes, so thank you guys for watching this video, again. And I catch you guys on the next one. And actually, I can't wait to try this film. I got this film. And I got this film. And I got this film. Which this film actually, I need to buy. If I really want to develop it myself, it takes a lot longer. Because it's not actually like. This is actually a film, film, film. Like cine film almost. And you have to like develop it differently. Like no develop like actual photo develop won't develop this. It's quite difficult. It's got like red some sort of like a coating. It's quite hard So Anyway, I'm talking too much. So if you're watching this already, I apologize But to share this video tell others about it and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So peace